G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching Avatar Season 3, Episodes 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. The last few episodes were just bangers. I mean, we had the blood bending, we had the Aang gang lose. That was just a huge shock that came out of nowhere for me. Zuko is now pursuing the Avatar, but for good intentions. You guys have just been super supportive the whole way through, answering my questions like, why is water bending the opposite of fire bending? The whole thing with water bending being more of a counter sort of technique against fire bending which is more just offensive. I know I'm a couple decades behind in terms of these sort of conversations, so I'm really glad I have such a such a faithful subscriber base that are helping me out understanding this show better. If you want to get updates on what I'm going to be watching soon, like Arcane, Legend of Korra, and the live action avatar, hit the subscribe button and just join the family if you would like to. Without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, chapter 12, the Western Air Temple. Finally, we've seen all of them now. Oh, poor Upper's probably even more tired with that armor. This is humiliating. Getting thoroughly spanked by the Fire Nation or having to walk all the way to the Western Air Temple? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Papa gets tired carrying all these people. It seems like my dad just got out. Dang. Oh. Hey, we're here. Uh. I think your feet need their eyes checked. <laughs> yeah, tough. We are here. It must be underground or something. It's amazing. Uh What <laughs> excuse me? How did they build that? That's incredible. Trust the air nomads, man. You better be careful, Zuko. You're like enemy number one to them still. He's the oldest, isn't he? What a stunning view. The only view I'm interested in seeing is the Avatar and Chain. <laughs> it's only been a week since your banishment. Yeah, he still has the scar healing. What else would I expect to hear from the laziest man in the Fire Nation? Oh. Only way to regain my honor is to find the Avatar. So I will. I'm so glad he was banished now. So he could grow out of this arrogance like his father. Mate, he's changed. So cool. I wonder if there are any secret rooms. Let's go check it out. Yeah, that would be me too, honestly, if I rocked up there. Like, just running around. You guys go. I think we need to talk about some things. Oh, oh okay. Let's go. We need to decide what we're going to do now. Maybe you should be a part of this. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be about them. <laughs> The new plan is the old plan. Master all four elements and confront the Fire Lord before the comet comes. Yeah. Where am I supposed to get a firebending teacher? <laughs> like we'll ever run into Jong Jong again. Who's? Oh, never mind. If it's important, I'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> She's so anyone. high. Why don't we just take a nice tour around the temple? That's so typical to build them all like a block to sit on, but she makes the highest one. Someone who can teach him firebending. <laughs> Hello, Zuko here. I have a lot of firebending experience. I'm considered to be pretty good at it. You've seen me, you know, when I was attacking you. <laughs> Guess I should apologize for that. Dude, you need to beg. I mean, I thought I was good before, but now I realize I was bad. But anyway, <laughs> and taught the avatar firebending. Yes. <laughs> oh man, I love seeing this weird side of him. What's your answer? <laughs> He's such an angsty teen. How am I supposed to convince these people I'm on their side? Yeah, yeah. You have to look within yourself to save yourself from your other self. <laughs> Will your true self reveal itself? It's so confusing. What would Azula do? Oh boy. Listen, Avatar. I can join your group or I can do something unspeakably horrible to you and your friends. <laughs> That might work. I guess I'm not that good at impersonations. That was really good, that one. Can we talk about you learning firebending now? The wind is too loud in my- Dude. What's he doing, man? He's running away like he did at the start. He does really have to be careful with that side of him. You're gonna love the all-day echo chamber. I think that'll have to wait. Ooh! Zuko here? <laughs> Come on, please. <laughs> Hello? Zuko here? <laughs> yes! I just thought I'd wait for you here. <laughs> Oh, oh, we must remember that he freed him. You followed us all over the world. Well, uh, dude, beg, beg. I'm good now. And oh, and I can teach firebending to you. Yes. You can't possibly think that any of us would trust you. All you've ever done is try to hunt us down and capture Aang. Uh, 
I set him free. That's something. <laughs> yeah. He probably just covered himself in honey or something. Oh. Uh... I can understand why you wouldn't trust me. And I know I've made some mistakes in the past. When you stole my mother's necklace and used it to track us. Yeah. I was wrong to try to capture you. Mm -hmm. And I never should have sent that Fire Nation assassin after you. Stop. Wait, you said combustion man? Oh, they don't know. <laughs> Me and Katara in jail and tried to blow us all up. Yikes. Why aren't you saying anything? You once said you thought we could be friends. Mm. There's no way we can trust you after everything you've done. Shivers, mate. Either you leave or we attack. If you won't accept me as a friend, then maybe you'll take me as a prisoner. No, we won't. Dang, bro. He's gonna have to prove it somehow. If we ever see you again? Well, we better not see you again. Yeah, you're not gonna kill him. You guys are too good. <laughs> Dang it, man. What's so sad about this is they have every right to feel the way that they do. Like, that makes total sense for them to reject him. That's what makes it so tragic, man. I can't believe how stupid I am. Telling them I sent an assassin after them? <laughs> Say Zula did that. They would have believed that? Stupid. Stupid, yeah. <laughs> but the problem is, Aang knows that he needs Zuko. He starts talking about his mother. It seems like he's an actual human being. He wants you to trust him and feel sorry for him. No. He's just genuinely conflicted. <laughs> I did feel sorry for him. I felt like he was really confused and hurt. He was. Remember when you two were sick and I got captured by Zhao? He was the blue spirit. He risked his life to save me. I'm sure he only did it so he could capture you himself. I mean, they're not wrong. Crazy stuff about setting Appa free. Actually, mm. he wasn't lying. In a lifetime of evil, he didn't add animal cruelty to the list. I wouldn't say a lifetime of evil, though. He could have turned out a lot worse. Yeah. While he was talking to us, he was sincere. Maybe you're all just letting your hurt feelings keep you from thinking clearly. Yes. You weren't there when he had us attacked by pirates. Or when he tried to capture me at the fire temple. Jeez, guys. You're all ignoring one crucial fact. Aang needs a firebending teacher. Yeah, duh. One shows up on a silver platter. And you won't even think about it? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. I'm not having Zuko as my teacher. I guess that's settled. I'm beginning to wonder who's really the blind one around here. Yeah, exactly. She's supposed to be like the stubborn sort of earthbender character, right? But they're the ones being so stubborn. <laughs> Stay back. Ow! Ooh. Zuko! <laughs> it was a mistake! Get away from me! Oh my gosh, bro. She came to you. I'm sorry! Get off me! Get off me! Ugh. Dang! I didn't know it was you! Come back! <laughs> Go! Why am I so bad at being good? <laughs> I know! Oh, poor Zuko. He's gonna need a lot of practice. <laughs> the poor guy. <laughs> oh. oh right she couldn't see what happened my feet got burned what happened my feet got burned <laughs> but how i kind of went to see zuko last night what zuko uh! <laughs> uh! he attacked you it was sort of an accident Dang. see you trusted zuko and you got she wants him on their side so badly zuko's clearly too dangerous to be left alone maybe just invite him back here he's already offered himself up as a prisoner Mhm. Mm get him to come back and say he'll be our prisoner we'll jump him and really make him our prisoner he'll never suspect it a master of surprise Sokka. <laughs> yeah but he generally thinks that him saying he's going to be their prisoner is a lie so not being able to see with your feet stinks and being able to see with them does stink as well. <laughs> oh boy. Oh gosh. Yes, Zuko, come on. Get him. I don't want you hunting the Avatar anymore. Come on, the please. Oh. What? Dang, is this personal for him? I'll pay you double to stop. What the hell? Dude. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that was lucky. Okay, well, they've seen him try to defend them, so that's good. Oh! Even his airbending's getting better. Oh. I can't step out to waterbend at him without getting blown up. I know how to get an angle on him. <laughs> He's been rained. Yes, come on. It's his time to shine. Come on, man. What? Is he actually using math? Oh, 
Bro, soccer, you're awesome, man. Okay, now Waterbend, you have a chance. Boomerang. Oh, come on, please. Did he just implode? <laughs> That's brutal. <laughs> All of us are just like, <laughs> did that just happen? Come on, come on, guys. I can't believe I'm saying this. Thanks, Zuko. And what about me? I did the boomerang thing. <laughs> Thanks, sucker. I had to go through all those things to learn the truth. Thought I had lost my honor and that somehow my father could return it to me. Mm. But I know now it's something you earn for yourself, choosing to do what's right. Yeah. My destiny is to help you restore balance to the world. Yes. I'm sorry for what I did to you. Fire can be dangerous and wild. I need to be more careful. So I don't hurt people unintentional. Yes, just like his other master said. I think you are supposed to be my firebending teacher. Mm-hmm. I never wanted to firebend again. I'd like you to teach me. Yes, come on! Thank you. I'm so happy you've accepted me into your group. Yeah. I still have to ask my friends if it's okay with them. Go ahead and let him join. It'll give me plenty of time to get back at him for burning my feet. <laughs> Typical. All I want is to defeat the Fire Lord. You think this is the way to do it? Then I'm all for it. I love how much Sucker trusts Aang now compared to the start of the show. I'll go along with whatever you think is right. Oh, man. I won't let you down. I promise. Yeah, dude, it's going to take a while for them to get to know you and warm up. I love how realistic this is, though. Unpack. Lunch soon. Uh, <laughs> welcome aboard. Oh, it's not going to help that he's such a, like, an introverted sort of person, too. I know it's my destiny to capture him. Destiny is a funny thing. Never know how things are going to work out. Mm-hmm. If you keep an open mind, I promise you will find your own destiny. I love that even from the start, Iroh knew what he was destined to do. Oh, Katara. You and I both know you've struggled with doing the right thing in the past. You make one step backward. Give me one reason to think you might hurt Aang. You won't have to worry about your destiny anymore. I'll make sure your destiny ends. Permanently. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yikes. <laughs> Katara is intimidating now, man. I do love just how realistic it is that Zuko isn't being accepted straight away. Like, it's just, it's going to take so long for them to, you know, trust him fully. The only reason they're trusting him at all is because they trust Aang. I, I do love how open-minded Aang is. Despite Katara being such an empathetic person, it's Aang at the end of the day who's willing to give him a chance because of his his values as being a monk. I do not blame Katara at all. I mean, we've followed her journey very closely, her character arc, the amount of loss that she's had. To actually be face to face with a guy who's betrayed them multiple times, it really is a huge test for her and her like trust in the avatar. <laughs> My goodness. I I'm wondering what the dynamic's gonna be now, like with Zuko is part of the group. I'm so excited. The thing I'm excited the most about with Zuko is getting to see his good side more. I feel like it's been very rare throughout the show. The only glimpse we got was when he kind of changed a little bit uh, when he was in Ba Sing Se, but even that felt unnatural. It felt more like he was forcing himself to act good opposed to being genuinely good, having good conviction. So it, it's so cool to see him now actually just being a normal teenager, being like, I'm part of the group now. Can you guys accept me, please? <laughs> so great. All right, on to episode 13. Ooh, chapter 13, the firebending masters. All right, let's go. Firebending in and of itself is not something to fear. Not something to fear. But if you don't respect it, it'll chew you up and spit you out like an angry Komodo rhino. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> I love how aggressive firebenders are. Perhaps a demonstration? <laughs> Wait, what? That was the worst firebending I've ever seen. What happened? <laughs> What's going on? Maybe it's the altitude. Could be. That is really odd. I hate it, so embarrassing. He had one job. And? That one kind of felt hot. Don't patronize me. You know what it's supposed to look like. Damn. Sorry, Sifu Hotman. And stop calling me that. 
<laughs> See for Hotman. Hey jerks. Mind if I watch you two jerks do your jerk bending? <laughs> jerk bending. Still got it. Oh. I love how even though he's angry, they're not intimidated by him anymore. <laughs> I wonder if it has anything to do with him not being angry anymore. I've lost my stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at the irony. It would have been nice for us if you'd lost your firebending a long time ago. Yikes. You're just not as good as you think you are. What? Jeez. I know you have a lot against him, but there's no need to be rude. Maybe your firebending comes from rage. Thank you. So, what we need to do is make Zuko angry. No. <laughs> I don't want to rely on hate and anger anymore. It has to be another way. Yeah. I recommend the original source. For earthbending, the original benders were Badramal. Yeah, she would know, hey. I ran away and hid in a cave. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how she learned. She actually was with the original earthbenders. They were blind, just like me. It wasn't just about fighting. It was their way of interacting with the world. <laughs> She's so cute. Maybe you can give me a lesson sometime, buddy. The original firebenders were the dragons and they're extinct. Mm. And there were plenty of dragons when I was a kid. Well, they aren't around anymore, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> they killed them all, didn't they? Was it Sozin that did that? Sun warriors? Maybe we can learn something by poking around their ruins. Maybe you'll pick up some super old sun warrior energy standing where they stood a thousand years ago? Yeah. Either I find a new way to firebend, or the Avatar has to find a new teacher. I think this is a good idea. I don't know why, but I thought this thing would be a lot faster. Typically, we start out our missions with a more upbeat attitude. <laughs> oh, I can't believe this. <laughs> You'll get the hang of being positive. <laughs> oh, that's Whoa. so cool. I wonder whether Zuko is actually going to level up. The past can be a great teacher. Whoa. Uh, oh! <laughs> oh. If he was anyone else, he would have died. I think the past is trying to kill me. I'm not sure what this tells us about the original source of firebending. It looked pretty angry to me. Something happened to the dragons in the last hundred years. My great grandfather Sozin happened. Yeah, I heard about this. Absolutely evil. The last great dragon was conquered by my uncle. I thought your uncle was... Oh. Good? He had a complicated past. Yeah, right. I want to know more about Iroh's past. It is cool just to see Aang and Zuko hanging out though. We definitely needed this episode. It's a celestial calendar, but only when sunlight hits it at just the right angle, we might be able to speed time up. Ooh, that's such a hack, man. <laughs> Any, anything like that, you can just make a reflection. You know, Zuko, I don't care what everyone else says about you. You're pretty smart. Wait, that was like a backhanded compliment. <laughs> oh, that's cool. This is something called the dancing dragon. I was gonna say, it looks like a dance. Oh. So go, get over here. I want you to dance with me. What? <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> Let's follow the steps of the statues. These statues are giving us a lesson. That's so cool. Let's go. Hooray! Oh, that's a trap for sure. It's some kind of mystical gemstone. Well, don't touch. Yeah, don't. I'm just very suspicious of giant glowing gems. Zuko! Almost alive. <sighs> <sighs> you were saying something about him being smart? <laughs> oh, I can't pull free. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, shoot, bro. I can't move. Just stick your head out. I can't move either. <laughs> At least we have air. Gosh. Maybe if we stay calm, we can figure a way out of this. Yeah, good luck. My goodness. <laughs> At least I made something happen. Help! Nobody's lived here for centuries. What do you think we should do? <laughs> think about our place in the universe? <laughs> you found your place in the universe. Stuck there. <laughs> oh, who's down there? Hey, buddy. It's kind of crazy they would have died if they weren't in that exact position. You must be severely punished. We came here to find the ancient origin of all firebending. Here to steal Sun Warrior treasure. Oh boy. There's always that one like side character that's so skeptical. Crown Prince of the Fire Nation. I know my people have distorted the ways of firebending, but now I want to learn the true way. Teach us. Nice. 
You must learn them from the masters, Ran and Shaw. Ran and Shaw? They'll read your hearts, your souls, and your ancestry. Whoa. If they don't, you'll be destroyed on the spot. Oh, gosh, man. I'm worried about Zuko because of his ancestry. Because <laughs> didn't his grandfather kill them all? Gosh. You must bring them a piece of the eternal flame. It was given to man by the dragons. I love that eternal flames are actually a real thing. <laughs> I'm not a firebender yet. Couldn't my friend here carry my fire for me? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so blunt. You must maintain a constant heat. Flame will go out if you make it too small. Make it too big. Might lose control. Mm. It's like a little heartbeat. Aww. Not just destruction. You will take your flames up there. I love that. I love that they're painting fire in this, like, such a heartwarming way now. If I walk too fast, my flame will go out. You're too timid. Give it more juice. You're a talented kid. <laughs> yeah, I guess Aang would be a little bit timid, wouldn't he? But earthbending was his natural opposite, not fire. So I feel like he might have a better time with this. Perhaps? Your ancestors are responsible for the dragon's disappearance. Once they find out on the Avatar. Have you forgotten that you vanished? The decline of the dragons, your burden too. Dang, bro. It's interesting that they're, they're both responsible somehow for the destruction of dragons, but they're also their only hope for a better future. We're seeing this through to the end. Yeah. What if they judge us? Well, we're the Fire Prince and the Avatar. I think we could take these guys in a fight, whoever they are. I love that confidence, mate, but <laughs> we'll see. Chanters! Oh, there's the intro music or the outro music. I don't know, man. It'd be like fighting two Iros. Ugh. This is kind of cool though. It's kind of relying on destiny to protect them. <laughs> if they die, they die. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be. Sound the call. Oh. <laughs> What's happening? Dude, your flame. <laughs> Give me some of yours. <laughs> no, just make your own. Now is not the time for this. Oh. <laughs> oh. My goodness, you guys are done. <laughs> <Ooh>! Bro! <laughs> I thought they were gone. Oh, wow. Still think we can take them? They're like the dragons from his vision in our uh, season two. Dinner for the masters. Quiet, Hunger. Yeah, can you stop? Well, dragons are meant to be very wise, so I don't think they just kill these two. I think we're supposed to do the dragon dance with them. Fine. Come on. Let's go. That's so cool. It also kind of proves they understand just firebending a bit more. That it, that it is an art of dancing almost. Woo! Judgment time. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, that's gorgeous. I understand. <laughs> that is incredible, man. <laughs> that couldn't have been any better. That was incredible. That they just show them flame and they understand in their soul almost. Can't believe there are still living dragons. So your uncle lied. Oh. Iro was the last outsider to face the masters. Pass the secret on to him as well. <laughs> so no one else would hunt them. All this time, I thought firebending was destruction. That's amazing. Now I know what it really is. It's energy and life. It's like the sun, but inside of you. Hunting you was my drive. Yeah. I have a new drive. I have to help you defeat my father and restore balance to the world. Let's go. Woohoo! Yes, Zuko! Come on. You know about our tribe's existence. We have no choice. Prison you here forever. What? <laughs> Just kidding. But seriously, don't tell anyone. <laughs> that was so good. Zuko and I will be unstoppable. It's a firebending form. 
we'll just tap dance our way to victory over the Fire Lord. A sacred form that happens to be thousands of years old. What's your little form called? Dancing dragon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zuko's gonna have to learn to uh, not take everything to heart, I guess. <laughs> He's so easily offended by everything. But this whole group just make fun of each other. That's what, like, healthy families do. They they make fun of each other, but not, like, too far. Like, so it's not too personal. I think he needs to understand that it's not personal. <laughs> that was such an awesome episode, seeing the origins of firebending. It just helped me understand the element just a little bit more. That it is life and that it's, you know, it's something that can either grow or die. It's kind of cool to understand that Zuko and I guess firebending in general, uh, their bending comes from a certain sort of motivation. I wonder if in the future, based on this now, if Zuko is going to be able to uh, lightning bend. Because I remember in season two, Ira was saying that to the lightning bend, you have to be able to almost have like a certainty, like a conviction in something. At the time, Zuko was very conflicted. He didn't really know 100% what his destiny was. I wonder if now this is going to actually give him some sort of like peace of mind and he's going to be able to lightning bend. I already know he can redirect lightning, which is pretty, pretty flippant awesome. But I just wonder now that he's gone to the origins like Ira did, whether this is actually going to help him grow even more as a firebender but yeah i guess we'll see anyway on to episode 14 chapter 14 the boiling rock part one hopefully i learned a thing or two. Oh. i like jokes bring it well i can't remember how it starts <laughs> leave me alone i'm bushed wow dude doesn't know how jokes work <laughs> it's funnier when uncle tells it maybe that's because he remembers the whole thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude line up it's okay Oh, so it's not bad, the tea? That's good. I was wondering if it was going to be disgusting. If someone was captured by the Fire Nation, where would they be taken? Knowing would just make you feel worse. Ooh. It's my dad. He was captured too. It's not good, Sokka. Shivers. They were taken to the Boiling Rock. Yep. The highest security prison in the Fire Nation. It's inescapable. What are you planning? Nothing. It's in the middle of a volcano. <laughs> Just no. knowing makes me feel better. I know what this two-part is about now. It's a rescue mission. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. Come on, dude. Shh. <laughs> he just goes back to sleep. Not up to anything, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna rescue my dad. You happy now? I'm never happy. <laughs> it was my decision to stay when things were going wrong. It's my job to fix it. I have to regain my honor. Mm. I'm going with you. No. How are you going to get there? On Appa, prisons don't have bison daycares. We'll take my war balloon. Let's go! Oh, I'd love to see Zuko just pairing with different people in the group, just seeing their dynamic. Now we get to see the two oldest blokes in the group team up. What does it say? Gone fishing. Back in a few days. Practice your fire bending while I'm gone. 20 sets of fire fists and 10 hot squats every time you hear a badger frog croak. Nobody else has homework. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's the thing I'm most impressed about with Aang in this whole series is the fact that he's able to practice every day with discipline and he's just so young. <laughs> so. A friend of mine actually designed these war balloons. There's one thing my dad's good at, it's war. Mm-hmm. Seems to run in the family. Hey, hold on, not everyone in my family is like that. You've changed. I met my uncle and I really let him down. I think your uncle would be proud of you. Yeah. You didn't leave behind anyone you cared about? May. That gloomy girl who sighs a lot? <laughs> My first girlfriend turned into the moon. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. <laughs> that is the perfect response. Like, how else do you respond to that? Like, ah, uh, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> there it is. <gasps> There's plenty of steam to keep us covered. Yeah, I didn't realize uh, they probably have a lot of chemistry, especially when they're focused on a task, because they're both such intelligent guys. Yikes. All right, here we go. The air outside is just as hot as the air inside. Oh. oh. Yikes. Well, <laughs> maybe they'll need to be rescued. Oh. Dude, that's harsh. 
the whole prison surrounded by boiling water. How are we gonna get off the island if the balloon won't work? I suspected it might be a one-way ticket. Uncle always said I never thought things through. This is just crazy. <laughs> I always think things through. My plans haven't exactly worked, so this time I'm playing it by ear. What are you doing? You don't want anyone to find it. Yeah, they'll know there are some imposters there if they find it. Suck is so interesting. He's like silly, but smart too. <laughs> We just need to lay low and find my dad as soon as possible. Guards, there's a scuffle in the yard. Come on. Better go. <laughs> Stop right there, Chit saying He wants to know what he did. Isn't that cute? Yes, yes. Uh, you're very cute, sir. Super cute. <laughs> Fire bending is prohibited. Oh, wow. Yeah, I wonder what the culture's like in this prison. That's horrible. Prisoners, am I right? <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> He's good at playing a character. The Boiling Rock. It holds the Fire Nation's most dangerous criminals, right? So what about war prisoners? Zuko's onto it. He's all business. He won't be firebending in there. It's the Warden. Look alive. I hear you used firebending to try to escape. Wow. No one has ever, ever escaped from here. I'd sooner jump in the Boiling Lake myself at that record fall. <laughs> hey there. Zuko? Shh. <laughs> Sucker. There are no water tribe prisoners. I'm afraid your father's not here. What? I failed. What would uncle say? Clouds have two sides. It's like a silver sandwich. When life seems hard, take a bite out of the silver sandwich. <laughs> Maybe we haven't failed after all. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> no, what you said made no sense at all. But look, <laughs> it's Suki. <gasps> Suki. <laughs> I was really hoping they'd find her here. That was great. Yeah, I bet she'd be so mean in prison. Like, no one would mess with her. What is it? Did I do something wrong? I'm Luke Skywalker. <laughs> then maybe you recognize this. Here we go. Dude! <laughs> Such an idiot! Sokka! It's you! The other Kyoshi warriors. They locked me in here because I'm the leader. I'm busting you out. Aww. I knew you'd come. I love these two. They're so cute. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Yikes. Guard, help! I think he's an imposter. Oh, this might work. You're under oh. arrest. Come on. This is getting so complicated just to re rescue Suki. Well, 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 Prince Zuko. How did you know who I am? Yeah, your face. You broke my niece's heart. Oh. I never meant to hurt her. Quiet! You're my special prisoner now. If these criminals found out who you are. Yeah. Oh, good. You guys have met. We met a long time ago. We did? Kind of burned down my village. Yep! Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> so awkward. I checked out the coolers again. They're completely insulated. To keep the cold in, it also has to keep the heat out. This guy's a genius perfect boat for getting through the boiling water. Yep. The cooler as a boat? How is he this smart? <laughs> and just float with the current. It'll take us straight across. Bing, bang, boom, we're home free. How are you going to get the cooler out? Oh, man. He's going to keep you guys up if you don't let him in. I come with you or the warden hears about this egg, too. Well, first, we need someone to unbolt the cooler. I can get you inside. Okay. Hopefully, this guy's going to be helpful. Ugh. Hey, what are you, stupid? Watch where you go. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many fake scenarios like this throughout this show. My favorite was uh, Katara airbending. <laughs> or so earth earthbending. No firebending. Into the cooler. Come on, please work. There's two parts to this, though. I'm, I'm very curious as to how this is going to play out. I can take you back to your cell if you've learned your lesson. Yes. I have. Completely. <laughs> I got Suki and Chit Sang out of their cells a few minutes ago. Someone's coming. New arrivals coming in at dawn. Some war prisoners? No way. Ooh. It could be your father. Yeah. Are we going ahead with the plan or are we waiting another night? This is literally like the last couple episodes. All of our freedom on the slim chance that my dad is going to show up? I think Suki would understand if you stayed. Oh, damn. All right. This here's my girl and my best buddy. They're coming too. Bro, what if this thing's too heavy? 
rescuing your dad is your chance. If I had just cut my losses at the invasion, maybe we wouldn't be in this mess. You're going to fail a lot before things work out. That's supposed to make me feel better? <laughs> you have to try every time. You can't quit because you're afraid you might fail. That's why he's such a good ideas guy, because he's prepared to fail. I'm staying. You guys go. Yes, Sokka. I'm not leaving without you, Sokka. Staying too. Not me, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out of here, bye. <laughs> I hope we haven't just made a huge mistake. I mean, maybe, but it's worth trying, right? This current is so slow. I can use this to battle. Ugh. Here we go. <laughs> Dang it, bro. If they went with him, they probably would have got caught. The plan failed. They're caught. Well, the plan was really good, but one of them was just an idiot. Gee. Yeah, well done. Well done. The gondola's moving. I really hope it's his dad. Is that him? My dad doesn't have a nose ring. <laughs> Come on, please. Where is he? That can't be it. I'm sorry, Sokka. Get off the gondola. Yeah, of course he's his dad's the one that's stubborn, right? Let's go. Dad. I love how lean his dad is compared to the other prisoners. He uses energy against his opponent. All right, The Boiling Rock, part two. Let's go. With his dad's help, they probably have a better chance at escaping anyway. Look me in the eye when I'm talking to you. No. Oh. <laughs> then take a look. I know exactly who you are, Hakoda. Of course he does. So strong-willed. We'll get rid of that in time. Now look me in the eye. Isn't that better? You will all win. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I wouldn't expect anything less from his dad. I'm fine. Get these prisoners out of my sight. It's literally a scene out of spirit that I just saw that was exactly like that. Thank goodness you're okay. If you take one step- Bro, learn your lesson. Take the helmet off first. Dad, it's me. Sokka. <laughs> Aww. You know, Sokka, you should be more careful with that guard outfit on. Yes. He's gonna have to fail again and again before he learns his lesson. Are you comfortable, Chitsang? If you're trying to get me to talk, forget it. I only ask you if you are comfortable. Yeah, actually, I am pretty comfortable. <laughs> that, that was pretty funny. I know you and your cronies are not smart enough to come up with that little escape plan. Who is? He's gonna tell him for sure. The others are being held at a prison near the Fire Nation Palace. The Ocean Nama Fighters? <laughs> Kiyoshi warriors? Their leader Suki is here, and she's gonna escape with- Right, so only the special prisoners go here. And you know Prince Zuko? Sounds like a major problem. Actually, he's on our side now. Yeah. <laughs> There's no prison in the world to hold two water tribe geniuses. Then we better find two. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh. I can't judge though. <laughs> I just got done talking to my dad. We came up with an escape plan together. What are you doing here? E just get 10 more seconds to rough him up a bit. Fine, 10 seconds. <laughs> it's gonna need a big distraction. Be in the yard in one hour. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow, look at them. You can tell they're 16 or whatever. I didn't do anything wrong. Come on, Zuko. We all know that's a lie. Oh boy. She's like the last kind of ex you would want. <laughs> I feel like she would destroy you. I think he's ready to talk. Have you had enough time to think about what I asked? It's a guy who's disguised like a prison guard. Dang it. I mean, I'm glad he didn't give up straight away, though. Come on, May. How did you know I was here? Because I know you so well. How? The warden's my uncle, you idiot. <laughs> All I get is a letter. You could have at least looked me in the eye when you ripped out my heart. He didn't have time. Come on. This isn't about you. This is about the Fire Nation. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, May, but it is. <laughs> You're betraying your country. That's not how I see it. I think she might actually listen to him, though. I think she knows deep down as well the Fire Nation isn't exactly top notch. We're escaping today on the gondola. Uh, My dad and I came up with the plan together. Commandeer the gondola, and we're gonna take. It might be too late, though. There's too many guards. He said we'll need a distraction. That's why we're gonna start a prison riot. 
Let's say by some miracle this all works and we make it on the gondola. Warden will still just cut the line. Not if the warden is the captive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. One of you is an imposter. That person is going to be in a lot of trouble. Oh, yes, please give up someone else. This might actually work. Come on. That's him, warden. He's the imposter. <laughs> yes, yes. He's a liar. You threw Chit Sang in the very cooler they used to escape. Who told you to interrupt me? I did. Oh, what's she doing here? <laughs> He's a guard who was involved in a recent and feeble escape attempt. Oh gosh, they ain't escaping. You're wasting your time. That's not one of them. How do you know? Because I'm a people person. <laughs> yeah, you're a sociopath. That's what you are. Let the prisoners out into the yard. We're in the middle of lockdown. I'll just go tell the warden you said that. What's your name again? <laughs> it's best not to question it and just do what he says. Yeah. You're right. The reason Sucker does so well as an imposter is because of how confident he is. If I feel like if it was anyone else, they'd suspect him. Here we go. Azula's gonna know what's up though. Oh, hey! <laughs> Easy. That hurt my feelings. Aren't you mad at me? Aw. I've been learning to control my anger. Aww. Good for him. I know you're planning another escape attempt. Actually, Gosh. we're trying to escape right now. A prison riot? Please. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> hey, riot! <laughs> this poor guy. Impressive. What? He just said riot. Let's riot! <laughs> <laughs> I guess if everybody gets involved, not everybody can get in trouble. This is supposed to be a lockdown! <laughs> that one guy! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm under direct orders from your uncle to make sure nothing- Ooh, here we go. Yes! Come on! Ooh, that's soul crushing. Betrayed her twice. Now all we need to do is grab the warden and get to the gondola. And how do we do that? I'm not sure. Yeah, I know, right? Not exactly easy. I think your girlfriend's taking care of it. Of course she is. <laughs> Bro, how light is this girl? I mean, she is a Kyoshi warrior. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Holy moly. She's literally like Black Widow. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Let's go! You're my prisoner now. She made that look easy. Now let's get out of here. That's some girl. Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, you have my blessing. <laughs> yeah, and he had the audacity to, in season one to say, you're warriors, you're girls. <laughs> Back off. We've got the warden. Where's that lightning? Where is she? Come on. Everyone in. Uh, Zuko? Oh, mate. Gosh, man, that was risky. I'm making it so they can't stop us. Way to think ahead. Who's that? That's a problem. Yes, it is. Oh, boy. What? Oh, my gosh. That is incredible. This is a rematch I've been waiting for. <laughs> All right, things are about to get interesting. Come on, Zuko. Show her your new firebending skills. Come on. Come on. Don't let her touch you. He's so relaxed, isn't he? He's not fighting with anger anymore. <laughs> oh, show off. Oh, Cut the gosh. line! There's no way he'll survive. He knows that. Yeah, he said he'd rather die, didn't he? Before seeing a prisoner escape. Dude! Yikes. They're about to cut the line! With Azula on there, wow. They should have considered that, right? That Ozai's daughter was on it. Then it's time to leave. Goodbye, Zuko. <laughs> gosh. Hey, he held his ground against you, though, this time. With ease. What are you doing? Saving the jerk who dumped me. Let's go, May. I knew you'd come around. Oh. 
I wonder how Azul is gonna take this though. What a sacrifice. She just gave herself up. It's me. As what is she doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Warden. Record is officially broken. Let's go. My sister was on that island. Yeah, and she's probably right behind us. What I mean is she must have come here somehow. Yeah, yeah, real. That's our way out of here. Nice. Leave us alone. I'm scared. I never expected this from you. Same. <laughs> you don't understand is why. You know the consequences. I guess you just don't know people as well as you think you do. <laughs> I love Zuko more than I fear you. You should have feared me more. Who? <laughs> Let's get out of here. Damn. You're both fools. Put them somewhere I'll never have to see their faces again and let them rot. Mate, Azula just lost her two closest companions. She has no one. Gosh. Sounds like a crazy fishing trip. Did you at least get some good meat? The best meat of all. <laughs> I'm new. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Hi, Katara. Aww. Yeah, Zika helped. Get him back. What is going on? Where did you go? Kind of went to a Fire Nation prison. <laughs> you guys didn't find any meat? <laughs> That's all she cares about. She just wants food. That was incredible. The whole, I love Zuko more than I fear you. That is, oh, I love that because Azula's whole thing is that I feel like her and Zuko both have very similar motivations in the sense that uh, they want to be validated. Power up until now has kind of been the way that they've gotten that. Impressing her father Ozai, she just wants to be accepted. She wants to have like this identity, right? I think that's what happens when you go up in an environment, right? Where they have a father like Ozai, they both just want to be validated and to know that they're important, that they have worth, value. They use different things to get that. And throughout the series, Azul has done that through uh, attaining power. Zuko's tried to do it by regaining his honor. Azul is still doing it out of power and she uses that to form these relationships as well, right? I think that she does have some kind of empathy because if she was a full on, is it a psychopath or sociopath? Don't actually feel any empathy towards people. I don't think she's full send that way because we have seen in the last several episodes that she has had some bits of empathy towards her closest friends. But I think she uses power because I think she feels like she has to be intimidating for them to stay with her, uh, which is really, really sad. Yeah, to lose them like that. <laughs> It would have been absolutely soul crushing for her. I mean, she's brought on herself, obviously, but I just love the irony of, I love Zuko more than I fear you. It's, it goes to show that she's underestimated the fact that unconditional love in friendship is, is more powerful in the end than fear that power creates. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be, I wonder what Azul is gonna be like now that she has nobody. Mm. All right, on to episode 16. All right, chapter 16, the Southern Raiders. Ooh, oh, oh, I'm, I'm assuming that's talking about the water tribes when they're raided. Okay. Ah, uh, all is right with the world. Or not, <laughs> okay. <laughs> they must have tracked them down. Gosh. Well, that's a good defense. Watch out! No. 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 Nice. Keeping rocks from crushing you. Not crushed. You can get off me now. Bro, I'll take that as a thank you. Wow. Uh, what are you doing? I'll hold them off. I think this is a family visit. It looks like Arpa doesn't want to go th through the tunnel. I guess he wouldn't after being captured, right? <laughs> She is a super villain. She's all about spectacle. I am about to celebrate becoming an only child. Damn. Why does she seem a little bit more unhinged already? Come on, Zico. Hoo uh... Okay, where's Arpa? What? So what happened to him? We need to split up. The Fire Nation can't separate our family again. Not forever. Dang, man, they just got him back. 
There, he's a he's a very good leader. He'll be fine with them. Does this mean that Suki's gonna be part of their core group now? I love that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> Mate, he's come a long way. <laughs> Damn! Shivers, mate. A Biazula? She's not gonna make it. Yeah, I was gonna say, doesn't she have? Of course she did. <laughs> Gosh, man. Why are you smiling? You failed. <laughs> Stop. It really seems like old times again, doesn't it? If you really want it to feel like old times, I could chase you around a while and try to capture you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke. Tezuko, today he'd be our hero. Here, here. Here, here. Let's go. I don't deserve this. No kidding. What's with him? <laughs> she has more right than anybody to be upset, though. She's lost a lot. Everyone else seems to trust me now. I was the first person to trust you, remember? What can I do to make it up to you? <sighs> I know. You could bring my mother back. Yikes. Oh. Oops. Sorry. Do you need to talk to Sokka too? Not me. Uh. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> they were going to have a romantic time together? I know this may seem out of nowhere, but I want you to tell me what happened to your mother. Damn. Why would you want to know that? Katara mentioned it before when we were in prison together in Ba Sing Se. She's connected her anger about that to her anger at me. Yeah, definitely. It's not a day I like to remember. Here we go. More lore. <laughs> that was so young, man. I'm going to find mom. Right, to get rid of the waterbenders, is that right? We were badly outnumbered, but we managed to drive them off. <laughs> well done, sucker. Always been a warrior. As quickly as they came, they just left. I didn't know yet what had happened. Oh, just like that? What the lead ship looked like? The main ship had flags with sea ravens on them. Mm. The symbol of the southern raiders. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, dude was expecting someone else. So he... You're not fooling anybody. Come on. I love that they still had time for Hanky Panky, though. What do you want? I know who killed your mother. <sighs> I'm going to help you find him. Oh, that's a personal endeavor. Far out. All to get in her good books. All right. Is it your turn to take a little field trip with Zuko? Yes, it is. <laughs> the show is calling itself out. We're going to find the man who took my mother from me. What exactly do you think this will accomplish? I knew you wouldn't understand. Ooh. How do you think I felt about the sandbenders when they stole Appa? The Fire Nation when I found out what happened to my people? Yeah. This is about getting closure. I don't think so. I think it's about getting revenge. Maybe that's what he deserves. You sound like Jet. It's not the same. Yeah, no, it is. I think Aang might be right. Then you didn't love her the way I did. <sighs> Katara. Wow. Revenge is like a two-headed rat viper. While you watch your enemy go down, being poisoned yourself. Mm-hmm. Forgiveness. That's the same as doing nothing. It's easy to do nothing, <laughs> but it's hard to forgive. Yes. It's impossible. Wow. They literally had every reason just there to listen to Aang. So much good logic. She said something awful about soccer. Mate. This is a journey you need to take. Yeah. Please don't choose revenge. Thanks for understanding, Aang. Dang. Yep, yep. Aang handled everything there so well usually it's annoying but right now i'm just impressed <laughs> so can i borrow momo for a week why do you need momo mm -hmm. <laughs> what so once we find a communication tower bust in and take the information we need we need to be stealthy and make sure i don't like this at all this feels wrong it does feel like she's just become jet hmm <laughs> Nice. On patrol near Whale Tail Island. Mm, I really hope she doesn't kill this guy. But it would be good to confront him for closure, right? You should get some rest. You'll need all your strength. Oh, don't you worry about my strength. I'm not the helpless little girl I was when they came. You're right about that. Mom! Oh 
mousy sort? I'll give you the information you want. You heard your mother. Get out of here! Oh my gosh. I ran as fast as I could. There's a man in our house! Kaya! When we got there, the man was gone. And so was she. Your mother was a brave woman. I know. Okay. Well, I guess she does have more reason to feel that hatred because she actually saw the man. It's the Southern Raiders. Yikes. I was like, you know, it was ah! <laughs> Bye. You guys are in massive trouble. Ah! <laughs> wow. She's like crying while she's doing all this. So fueled by hatred. Are you ready to face him? Oh boy. This is so disheartening. What? Oh no, 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 Katara. Happening to me. Oh gosh. You look her in the eye and you tell me you don't remember what you did. Ugh. It's not him. Oh, gosh. That was so wrong. He retired four years ago. Mate. Zuko's face there was like a mixture of like, how has she not killed me yet? And also a bit of, this is unnatural. Tomato carrots from your garden are too hard for my gums. I would be happy to. Forget your stupid garden. Buy me some real food. Oh my gosh. Yeah, huge culture and like respecting your elders and stuff like that. Doesn't matter what he's done. Super loyal to his mother. So this is the guy? Hello? Is someone there? That was him. That was the monster. Gosh. Oh, of course it rains. Ugh. Surrounded by Katara's element. Nobody sneaks up on me without getting burned. Oh boy. Take whatever you want. I'll cooperate. You know who I am. Oh, you better remember me like your life depends on it. I remember you now. You're the little water tribe girl. Wow. Go find your dad, sweetie. I'll handle this. Oh, it's so sad. Her mom looks so much alike. Who's the waterbender? The Fire Nation took them all away a long time ago. There's one waterbender left in the Southern Water Tribe. Do you promise to leave the rest of the village alone? Is it her? Take me as your prisoner. I'm afraid I'm not taking prisoners today. Oh, you evil man. She lied to you. She was protecting the last waterbender. Right. Who? Me! Oh, bro. You're in trouble. Don't do it, please. Why don't you take my mother? I always wondered what kind of person could do such a thing. There's just nothing inside you. You're pathetic and sad and empty. <sighs> as much as I hate you, I just can't do it. Wow. <laughs> what a horrifying conclusion to her arc. Couldn't be that much harder than that, honestly. Far out. That was like the ultimate test. Katara! Are you okay? I'm doing fine. I'm proud of you. I wanted to take out all my anger at him. Mm. I don't know if it's because I'm too weak to do it or it's because I'm strong enough not to. Forgiveness is the first step you have to take to begin healing. I'll never forgive him, but I am ready to forgive you. Yeah, that is the first step. Aww. That was needed. Violence wasn't the answer. It never is. Then I have a question for you. Ozai. What are you going to do when you face my father? Yep. <laughs> I knew it. Exactly. That's like his destiny to kill him, right? <laughs> so it's like, how do you confront that? That is such an amazing way to set up a bigger question in this, <laughs> in this series, right? Oh my goodness. It's like Katara's entire arc is like, like the lead up to this big question Aang needs to ask. How do I kill someone? Reason why so many other people are dying. It's, oh my goodness, what a challenging episode. Hey, I'm sorry, but I'm always just so impressed by just the moral dilemmas that come up whenever Katara is involved. I think that it's just so interesting. Like the last one I really liked was the bloodbending episode and that whole thing of 
you know, not taking out vengeance on innocent people the same way Jet was doing that. I know, I just feel like throughout the series, it's been a little easier for Katara because she's understood that, that there's innocent people that are dying, uh, where other characters have been weaker in the sense that they've gone, no, like innocent people aren't really innocent because they're part of this nation. They're equally responsible for all of these deaths and that sort of thing. But Katara's been that moral compass you know she's been able to go no these people are innocent they're not involved unless they've done something directly they're not responsible and you, you could take it even a step further as going even if they are responsible murder isn't the the answer but then we get this episode which takes it to a completely different level where you've got the fact that she's face to face with the guy that killed her mother oh my goodness what an insanely difficult thing to do and obviously katara did make the right choice i think you can't help but just understand how difficult that situation is and ang saying the things he's saying obviously he's experienced it himself but it's also he does have the luxury of not being the one affected by it. As much as the stuff he's saying is right, it, it's harder for him to understand her situation. Yeah, it's, it's one thing to know what the right thing to do is. It's another thing to actually do the right thing when you're faced with such a situation. I think the whole thing of forgiveness is interesting because in, in my head, I'm like, yes, I, I personally believe the same thing as Aang. I think that even if the person is absolutely evil and have killed people in your family, forgiveness is a necessary step, not just for them, but for, for your, your own well-being. And that's what Aang was trying to say, but I totally understand Katara's point of view. Like, mate, that's just, that's not an easy thing to do. But then I think the brilliant writing for me comes in where at the end of Katara's arc, where she's been put to the ultimate test of her character, it leads into the bigger question, which is, is it right to murder the leader of the Fire Nation? Aang's gonna have to battle with this. And he, I think I think that's perfect for him because he's, out of every other character in this show, Aang is the one who's probably the most likely to forgive somebody for being evil. So he's gonna be put to the ultimate test of being face to face with the Fire Lord. Those episodes are just absolutely incredible. I had a blast this week. I'm so keen to finally watch the finale of this show before the live action comes out. And regarding the live action, I am up to date with all the drama and the certain speculations about the show and the writers and all that sort of thing. It is not looking great, uh, but I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt because why would I want to not enjoy a show right before it even comes out? I feel like that's just silly. Uh, I'm going to walk into this show um, optimistic and if it's not good, it's not good. And, uh, you know, We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. So please like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.